This video is for my 3D design class, the Kites as Art project. You're going to need to know how to tie sticks together. So here I'm practicing with some big dowels and large string, and this is called square lashing. And you'll see this from two different angles. First you wrap around the two sticks and then you wrap between them, and that tightens the whole thing up. Then, of course, just tie a knot. When I was a kid, I was in Boy Scouts. Can you tell? And here's the side view. The hardest part is actually holding the sticks where you want them when you get started. Here you can see me wrapping between the two sticks. Next, I'll just use some of the kite string and tie some of the bamboo together. This is a little more tricky, so you might want to practice once or twice before you actually need to do it. If you really want something permanent, one drop of super glue will fix the lashing firmly in place. Here are my materials in a few sketches. I'm going to see how big the paper is so I know how big of a kite I can make. These sticks are actually split bamboo. They're really quite nice to work with. They do have nodes and that's normal with bamboo, but they bend pretty much evenly. Bamboo is strong because it has long fibers. That makes it also very hard to cut. So here what I'm going to do is score all the way around a piece of bamboo and then snap it. That works pretty well, but I have a pair of pliers with side cutters and it's even easier. I've never actually made a fighting kite, and since this video is just to show you how to put things together, I thought I might try that design. Now, I didn't actually draw it, I'm just going to wing it, and in the end that turns out to be not the best idea, but nothing's going to hold me back here. I found that bending the bamboo like this will help it to bend into a fair curve. There's a node right there, so I'm going to bend that area a little bit extra. This kite string is actually pretty crappy, but it's what you have, so it's what I'll use as well. So here's where I'm glad I practiced lashing already. Here I'm just measuring with my piece of paper to see if I have equal amounts of stick on both sides. If I don't, I can just pull a little bit through the lashing. Here I'm bowing the cross piece and tying a string all the way around the perimeter of the kite. And again, I'm just measuring against a piece of paper. I'm going to just let the video run a little bit here so you can see that doing this doesn't actually take that much time. It's a little bit fiddly.
I can tell now that I don't have the proportions quite correct. This is a little bit too square and it won't be very stable I don't think when it flies. I'm not that worried about it though. I'm just enjoying putting things together here. I'll mark the paper and cut it based on the dimensions of the kite itself. I've left an allowance to fold the paper over either the string or the stick. And there's my perfect lashing. And here are my drawing materials. I think it's real important that you actually decorate your kite so it's part of your grade and the reason for this is you have that beautiful surface that sail of the kite and it's going to be in contrast with the sky you might as well say something with that surface Artists are often blurring the lines between work and play, and I think there's nothing better than to make a kite in the springtime, and you can tell that I'm working, but I'm also just playing. I'm going to use a few different methods to put the skin or the sail on the kite. I'll first start off with this double-sided tape. It's really pretty slick. You just stick down the tape, peel off the backer, and fold the paper over. And I'm catching the string in there. You can't see it though. I should say that if you make a kite with flat surfaces to put the paper over it's a lot easier. Here I'll use some Elmer's glue and it just takes a little while for the glue to dry but you can kind of see that I've got the string right in that crease line. So I've tied a bridle on and made some kind of a tail for this thing and I'm just curious to see if I can make a flat board fly. Well, sort of. The whole time I was making that one I was thinking about making something that was a bit more dynamic and sculptural. So I started tying some more sticks together. I actually didn't make a plan, I just started tying sticks together and this is what I came up with. It actually was a lot of fun. In order to get the paper to go around this curve, I had to basically notch it. And then I just used scotch tape this time. I also made a fancy bridle with multiple points to tie the string to. That was a good idea. So here we go again. I actually think this one is sculpture. All I need is a little bit of wind and a little bit bigger tail. 